Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today is the start of Wilds of Eldraine week, so we're kicking things off with the most requested interaction that I got this time around. How does Primal Vigor interact with roles? Now, I'll be doing a whole video on roles soon, but this question showed up so often for me that I wanted it to have its own dedicated video. So if Amy uses Red Tooth Genealogist to promote her grizzly bears to the royal court while she controls Primal Vigor, what happens? Okay, so we can see that the relevant part of the Primal Vigor here is a replacement effect. These function by modifying the instructions that spells and abilities have, replacing them with a completely different action according to what it says. If one roll token would be created, two are created instead. And that's all it does. It doesn't change anything else about those instructions. In particular, any other stuff that those instructions say to do with the token we create will remain unchanged. So if the instruction that we're modifying says to create a royal roll token attached to target creature, we will create two royal roll tokens attached to that creature instead. Incidentally, this also answers another type of question I see a lot with Primal Vigor. You still do have to sacrifice both the tokens at the end of turn if you use something like an Ortheon while you have Primal Vigor out. And the reasoning is the exact same. The instruction refers to the token that was created. So if there were two tokens that were created, then it applies to both. Obviously, this doesn't synergize super well with rolls, given that you can only control one of them attached to any Griven creature at a time. But them's the breaks. The next question on people's minds is probably whether you can bargain one of those rolls away before you have to lose one of them. Unfortunately, that won't work either, because the thing that makes you put the excess roll into your graveyard is a state-based action. This happens before any player gets a chance to cast spells, meaning that the roll would already be in your graveyard before you got a chance to bargain it, even if you were using one of the instant speed bargain spells. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.